we are working on Gmetrics Outlook Practice Exam 1. Task 18 asks us to go ahead and create a new mail folder named Travel and it's going to be a subfolder to the inbox. So what we can do here is with our inbox selected we can right click and then select new folder and we'll go ahead and type in Travel. Task 19 asks us to go ahead and configure Outlook to automatically empty the deleted items folder upon exiting. The key word to that question is configure. We'll go ahead and click File, Options. We'll click Advanced. And then we will just want to check Empty Deleted Items folder when exiting Outlook. And we'll click OK. Task 20 asks us to go ahead and change our calendar work week. So let's go ahead and go to the File, Options. Go ahead and click Calendar. It says that we need to change it from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. and it says it's Tuesday through Saturday and we want to go ahead and make the first day of the week Tuesday. We'll click OK. Task 21 asks us to go ahead and email our calendar with limited details to R. Lee. So let's go ahead and access our calendar. And What we want to do up here at the top is click email calendar in the availability we'll go ahead and click limited details we'll click OK here click continue to the two we want to go ahead and add R. Lee. we'll click OK and it says email so we'll click send we'll wait for it to process here task 22 asks us to go ahead and create a calendar meeting request so let's go ahead and go to our calendar and what we want to do is go ahead and uh, type in new meeting. We'll go ahead and uh, call the subject budget meeting or budget planning. Make sure you capitalize. This is going to be a reoccurring event. So we'll click reoccurring. It's going to occur on Thursday from 3 p.m. to 4.30. Set the location to Craig's office. We'll go ahead and invite Arlie and J. Doe. They're both required. Click OK. We'll mark this as busy. And we'll go ahead and send it. Wait for it to process. Task 23 asks us to go ahead and delete the marketing meeting series scheduled every month on Wednesday. So let's go ahead and find that. We have Wednesday here. We'll, we'll open this and we'll click the entire, um, entire series. Click OK. What we want to do is click Delete. And we'll click Next. Task 24 asks us to go ahead and create a calendar event. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, it tells us that we want to create the event from the message Q1 sales report. So what we want to do is just actually click and drag that to our calendar icon here. That will put that message in the, the calendar. And we want to go ahead and uh, invite H. Tomo, which is Hideki. Click OK. It's going to occur this Thursday. And it's going to go from 8.30 to 9. Go ahead and send it. Send anyway. Wait for it to process. Click next. Task 25 asks us to go ahead and forward a, a meeting series. So let's go to, to our calendar. It's called Product Development Meeting. So it's this one right here. With that selected, we can go ahead and click Forward Series. And it says that we need to invite R. Lee as a required and J. Doe as an optional attendee. To go ahead and get those uh, different options, we'll click the two here. And so for here, we'll select R. Lee. And as optional, we'll go ahead and select J. Doe. 
and it did not put it there so we'll just click and drag here um, you could also click that we'll go ahead and click OK and then it says to to send it and then verify it it's sent down here task 26 asks us to go ahead and end the reoccurrence of the lunch and learn event so let's go ahead and open that up in our calendar we'll go ahead and open the entire series what we just want to do is uncheck reoccurrence and uh, we'll click remove reoccurrence and we can save and close task 27 asks us to go ahead and apply the yellow category to the lunch and learn meeting that occurs on Friday so let's go ahead and open our calendar We'll open up the lunch and learn we'll go ahead and do the entire series and what we want to do is just add the yellow category we'll click yes and we'll click save and close task 28 asks us to go ahead and mark a task as high importance and we're going to assign it to Craig Stronin. So let's go ahead and go to our task. And we are looking for this. So we'll go ahead and open that one. For this, we want to click it as mark as high importance. And then we want to go ahead and assign the task. And so to do that, we'll click the two and we want to mark it to Craig Stronin. Click OK. And then we'll go ahead and send that. We'll wait for it to process. Task 29 asks us to go ahead and create a new contact. So we'll go to our contacts down here. We'll click new contact. Type in Kevin. Make sure you spell his name with capital letters. We'll add his job title as accountant. And we'll add his email. Make sure we hit save and close. Task 30 asks us to go ahead and open up uh, Debbie Collins' contact, and we're going to add her image to the business card. So we'll go ahead and click our contacts. We'll change our view to business card. We'll double click Collins' contact card. And for the image here, we'll go ahead and double click. What we want to do is go to our documents, and we want to click Geometrics Templates, Debbie. Make sure you hit Save and Close. Task 31 asks us to go ahead and email the electronic business card for JDO to Arlie and give it the subject contact info for JDO and it tells us to go ahead and send that message. So we'll go ahead and go to our contacts and we're emailing JDO's contact card. So we'll go ahead and uh, right click and click forward as a business card. We're going to go ahead and send that to Arlie. We'll change the subject to contact info for J Doe. And we'll send that message. Wait for it to process. Task 32 asks us to go ahead and create a contact group. So let's go to our contacts. We'll go ahead and create new contact group. We'll give it the name executives. And we'll add its members from our Outlook contacts. It says that uh, we want Craig Stronin and we want R. Lee and Jado. And we'll click OK. We'll make sure we'll click Save and Close. Task 33 asks us to go ahead and add the Jado contact to the sales team contact group. So let's go to our contacts go to the sales team here we'll click add a member from our Outlook contacts we'll select J Doe we'll click OK we'll click save and close task 34 asks us to go to to the contacts group and what we're going to do is remove a member from the marketing team so what we'll do is we'll double click that to open it up we'll select Sue Miller and click remove member and we'll click save and close.